Hello everyone, I'm you too, and welcome back to Born of Bread. Okay, so we just completed chapter was three, I think. Well, whatever it is. Um, we're gonna talk to uh, Corn uh, Cornelius here because we need to do whatever he wants. So, for the last time, sir, let's just tell me where the title deeds are, and we can forget about all this an unfortunate situation. Doesn't matter how many times you ask me, Cornelius, I don't know where the blasted deeds are. Oh, come off it! Selling off Colts to a cottage for the money is all you care about. Never mind that it's been our family's home for generations. Have you looked at the place recently, brother? It's falling down around our ears, rather like one of your business ventures. More enterprising people could actually do something with this place, Cornelius. They can restore it to its former glory. Huh. Look, Cyrus, you might be innocent. I change the combination daily, after all. But someone has taken them. If you know anything, anything, you must tell me. You always have your luck. One giving orders. Uh, you always love giving orders, Cornelius, but you're wrong. I don't have it to tell you anything. God, you obstinate fool. Whoever has the deeds could alter them. They have us out of the snow without so much as a clover to our names. Ah, oh, just go away, brother. Stay in the music room where you can't do any harm while I think this through. You can't tell me where to. Get out! <laughs> Fine. You won't make any difference anyway. This place is history, Cornelius, and you know it. What is it, Chloe? Finished your little adventure game already? It's not a game, Dad. We heard what's going on. Someone's shown Cold Star Connors' title deeds. Uh, first, I just need to do some blue sky thinking. Then I'll look into the action to look to action the deliverables. Dad, you're right. I'll also go back to that. We may have to push the envelope here to. Dad, English, please. Oh, oh, sorry. I think about business when I'm, you know. Don't worry, Dad. We'll find out who took the title deeds and get them back. Leave it to us. Oh no, don't be silly, Chloe. This isn't one of your little games. I'll sort this out somehow. God, why do adults always think they have to fix things on their own? Let us out, Dad, okay? We'll investigate the safe and find out what Cyrus knows. Huh? The safe is behind that painting to your right. Just don't break anything and you get yourself into trouble, alright? Okay, let's go, everyone. The game is afoot. Hmm, I thought this wasn't a game. Oh, uh, it's just an expression, Dad. <laughs> Alright, so I found the safe already, so... Oh, it's already open. Hmm, the safe doesn't seem to be damaged. The mechanism is still intact, so the door wasn't forced. We could deduce, therefore, that the thief either knew the combination or was a skilled safe cracker. Oh, that's amazing, Chloe. Unnerving, more like. So do you think the thief could be your uncle? Uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know the combination, and I don't think he has the patience for safe cracking. We could fight him, just to make sure. Uh, well, it's, it's tempting. No, no, we can solve this problem with brains of a brawn. But I can't see any clues as to who the perpetrator is. Aha! What do we have here? Um, some fluff? Not fluff. Oh, and look, the gray is coming off on my own fingers. It's been painted. Someone dyed this fur gray, but why? Um, is that a rhetorical question? I love rhetorical questions. They're great for heightening dramatic... Yes, it's rhetorical, and I don't know why either yet, but we have a clue to go on, right? Let's speak to Uncle Cyrus now. See what he knows. He said in the music room, right? So. Excuse me. Oh, great. You kids, kid. What do you want now? Well, 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 Uncle Cyrus. Stolen title deeds. Ever heard of them? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Come off it, Uncle. Don't play coy. We all heard you arguing with Dad. Why not just tell your favorite niece what's going on, hmm? Maybe you can even help each other out. Uh, you're my only niece. Well, uh, we do need to find the blasted things. If you think you can find out what's going on, I'll tell you what I know. I also talked to the businessman named called Enzo regarding the uh, the transfer ownership of Cold Star Cottage. He was interested but wanted to see the place for himself, so I let him have a look around. That's all it was supposed to be. That devil must have stolen the title deeds when I wasn't looking. Uncle Cyrus, how could you try to tell the sell the house without speaking to Mom and Dad first? Shame on you. So, where do we find this Enzo, then? That's it! That's just it. I don't know. I met him in Midtown, but never at his house. He says he likes fresh air, though, so we always had our meetings outdoors. Not much to go on. What does he look like? He's slim and usually wears a lime green tunic. Oh, and he has the most magnificent black mustache. Much more impressive than the silly little furry caterpillars your father has. Okay, okay, we get it. Anything else, Uncle? I told you kids all I know. Now just go and do your detective thing and get those deeds back, alright? What are you doing, Uncle Cyrus? Hmm? Oh, it's you kids again. I'm just ravaging through these dusty old instruments. Does anyone ever clean this place? 
Oh, do you play something, Mr. Cyrus? Play? Play? Oh, why, yes, yes, I do. I like to dabble with the notes, as they say. Hmm, I never heard anyone say that, but I've lived at a forest ranger, so I'm probably a bit out of the loop. I want to take a closer look at these instruments, but they're covered in dust, so I can barely see them. I would clean them, but I have a terrible dust allergy. I didn't know that, Uncle Cyrus. I'm sure I've seen you rummaging through things in the attic before. Play raps, girl. Anyway, I'm sure your kids know how to pour this and help your elders. elders. Why don't you take this old ladle and get dusted? Hey, what? As a dash of super to any culinary endeavor, and in the hands of heroes serves up some righteous dust desserts. I think there are five instruments here that need a good clean. Uh, wouldn't some like soft up be a better idea? Like your doughy friend's head, for example. <laughs> good one, Cyrus. No, the lid will be fine. Well, I'm waiting. Won't the instruments bite the dust? Nonsense, if you're careful. Just take this ladle and give the instruments a gentle tap to just lost the dust, but don't damage them. I will be able to sell, uh, play them if you do. And don't even think about leaving this room until you're done. Okay. Oh! Fucking damn it. <laughs> uh, charcoal! Man, I am strong. Whew. All right. Yeah, there's one, there. one there. There's the one here. It's three. Okay, it's just it's just the uh, guitar. So okay. I see one up there. Oh, where are there? Yeah, no. Uh. Uh. Shit. <laughs> All right, you got this. Uh. 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 Hey. What if he gets done? Those instruments could have been worth thousands. I'm sure they're still playable, Mr. Colesock, and we only did what you asked us to do. Oh, you guys are really getting on my nerves. Just get out of all of you. Don't you lay it back, Uncle Cyrus? Why would I want that worthless piece of junk? Just go away. So did it upgrade my ladle? Like, permanently? It sure did. Interesting. Why can't I move around this menu? What the hell? What's going on? Weird. Uh... I can't... I can't... What the hell's happening? Oh, there it goes. Weird. Alright. I, I, I should have looked up how to, like, look at stuff in this game. Because there's, like... Like, how do you look at the stuff on the right? Like, the quest items. Like... And, like... Yeah, it's just, like... You can move the mouse around, but it doesn't really do anything. Alright. I don't know. Who actually knows? Alright. No! No! Alright, so I need to head to Midtown, um, I guess, to complete this next part of the quest. I got super little now. I don't I wonder how much damage it does. Or if it's just exactly the same. And I broke the game. Whoa, you can see the areas down there. That's crazy. I need to stop. Like, holy crap. <laughs> I don't know what it is I do. I, I just play the game, guys. I don't actually try to do these things. I've had I've had like a knack for like breaking games though, unintentionally. Uh, it makes it, may, it certainly makes the playthrough interesting. <laughs> Things like that happen. All right, so here's a he's a green thing with the, is it this guy? Uh, oh, I must have dozed off. Are we in uptown yet? Nope, it's not this guy. Okay, you know, kind of fit the bill a little bit. It's like a green tunic with a black mustache. Is this Midtown? No, Midtown's back in Royal Town. Oh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of. This is like High Ice Hamlet or something like that. All right, hold on one second. I need a straw for drinks purposes. So um, this is the start of a very long recording session for me. Well, in a series of recording sessions, I have to record two weeks worth of content and. Because I'll be gone. Oh. Hey, Knuckleheads, I'm back. Uh, Lol? 
Are you alright? Looks like you took a beating too. Was that that dumb dough boy again? What happened? I told you to stay out of trouble. I took the little twerp into breaking a curse and giving me the sunstone shard before I. Uh, uh, what? Really? Really? Come on, show me! Uh, I must have dropped it. What do you mean you dropped it? It's not here. It's gone. It must have fallen from my pocket when I fled. You you lost it? Hey! Oh, hey! Cool, boss. Leave her alone, Justin. It was an accident. Just in case you dung brains forgot, we need all of the pieces for the plan to work. That bubbling dough doofus probably has his flowery myths all over it. Now we'll have to steal the shard all over again. Chester, you can't just push low. I think it's EO, sorry. EO around. Look, uh, I'm not even sure this plan's going to work, but it look it definitely won't if we don't stick together. Well, of course it's going to work. We're bringing back the Empire. That's why we're doing this, right? We all want to go home? Not really, eh? Wasn't that great. Yeah, I mean, they kind of treat us like garbage back there. At least the people are nice. The people here are nice. One second, sorry. <laughs> We're doing this for you, Jester. So it's not like most of us are. Uh, it's not like most of us had all that much worth going back to. No family, no home. So it's not like you've got any of that here either, Jester. Well, that was harsh. Ah, uh, quit all this whining. You're all just finding excuses. I'll do it myself. I don't care. I'll get the shard back on my own. You can all laze around here doing nothing as usual. Jeez, bunch of slackers. Wait, Jester. Hey. His own fucking family. Can't believe those guys taking Eo's side. She had one job. I heard what people used to whisper, calling me useless, saying I can't take anything seriously, that I brought shame upon my father, that I didn't deserve to be his son. But I'm taking it seriously this time. I'll prove to you that I can be a good prince, a good leader. The most important mission in the history of Empire and Father entrusted it to me. I swear, I won't let you down, Dad. <laughs> so hard fail, so dramatic, so pathetic. How many ways can you say daddy issues? You, how? How did I find my way into your little rat's nest worm? Please, I'm an expert hunter, and you're not exactly difficult to track. Besides, all that moody shouting and monologuing echoes around down here. Who are you? Why are you following me? What do you want? Me? I'm a hero. The best hero around. And you're a nasty little villain with a bounty on his head. If it's money you want, I've got loads. I'm a prince. So I heard. A prince so weak and worthless, not even his own father wants him. Sounds like you have nothing to bark with, your highness. Besides, what kind of hero would I be if I took bribes? Now try to struggle a bit. I like a good fight. Oh god, not again. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what do I do? Oh, okay. Oh. 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 She's so scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. She really like busting through it. Isn't she? <laughs> Open. Lower. Good. <laughs> Jesus. Warning, boil pressure rising. Automatic lockdown engaged. Further pipe damage will lead to a cata catastrophic explosion. Have a sewer day. Beep boop. Oh! Oh, I see. I wanted to break all the pipes. Here. Uh, catastrophic explosion imminent. The Royal Town Sewer Company would like to remind its workers that Union is strictly forbidden. Have a sewer day. Beep boop. You stubborn wretch. This isn't over. I'll be out of here just waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And I never miss my mark. Huh. Huh. That was too close. No time. I need to do something now. <laughs> Well, I, say, I thought I broke it for a second. <laughs> I 
I just clicked out of the game for a second. Oh. Ah, there you are. You wouldn't believe how many cups of tea we got through waiting for you youngsters. By Joe, we made quite the discovery. Indeed, we've been investigating a very interesting mystery. Did you say mystery? This is Chloe. She's very excited. Ah, uh, as she should be. Nothing gets the blood pumping like the questions of science. I say it would be easier to show you. You must come to the Academics Guild right away. I was looking forward to some hot baked goods. I was looking forward to being warm again, but we can't disobey wise elders. And there's mysteries! Fresh mysteries are better than pastries. We'll head to the bakery afterwards. I bet Mr. Baker will be pleased that we finally got a sunstone shard. He'll probably make us something extra, extra special. Can I bake the sunstone shard into, like, a food? <laughs> oh, okay. About time. Pay attention now. We have a great deal to discuss. Now, without further ado, we need to fill out the rest of the pictures from our cameras. Please, no vacation size slideshows. Slide <laughs> uh, I'll skip the first two slides. Oh, no! <laughs> we see in the ruins of the undergrowth, and the story of the tale is incredible. Millennia ago, right where we stand, there was an ancient civilization that spanned this entire area, perhaps even the entire world. They had unparalleled technology for about far beyond anything we have today. Using the incredible power of the sunstone, they did impossible things. We found flying machines of stone, far too heavy to fly. The carving speak of a control in the ocean, the weather. They built great places and temples, building the size of cities. And at the heart of it, a ruling family. The rain lasted centuries, building higher and spreading farther. Until one day, it just stops. The entire of civilization collapsed overnight. Some parts have been completely erased from history. The ruins of the undergrowth are all that remains. And we have absolutely no idea where. So, Jester and his friends, they're from the ancient civilization. Perhaps that's so, perhaps even from the Emperor family itself. And Jester wants to use the power of the Sunstone to bring it all back. Indubitably, and that means if Jester would to successfully rebuild the ruined city beneath our feet. What would happen to all our dear little royal town, to this very guild office? Two buildings can't exist in the same place. Exactly. That'd be unbearably cramped. The most cramped. Unthinkable. My head hurts. Please tell me this means I need to go fight someone. <laughs> I'll do time, young buck. We need to prepare a few things before our next expedition. <laughs> Yay, that means it's pastry time. Uh, also, we can introduce Chloe to Mr. Baker and tell him about the sunstone and stuff. This is all very worrying. Is that it? Okay. Mmm. Right, I'm just gonna check real quick to see if there's anything new down. Nope, okay. Let's go ahead and just head straight to Papa Baker first, because I'm sure there's gonna be a string of events that happen after I do that, so. We're back, Mr. Baker. Oh god. And we have a sunstone shard. Have you got a safe or something to put in? Mr. Lowstad? Jester will definitely try to get it back. Hello? I think that Jester guy got here before us. Oh no, it's a ransom note. <laughs> They're all... <laughs> I have your dumb baker guy. Bring my sunstone shard to the sewers and maybe I'll return him. Jester. P.S. You suck. <laughs> that cheating, no good low life. It'll be okay, Lo. We're here to help, we're right, you guys. Yeah, we'll fight him together. Of course, we'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, he mad. I'll get Jester the hiding of his life! Uh, after we get Mr. Baker back. I'm with Lint. It's time we taught Jester a lesson in honor. Where are these sewers? I'll just suggest that they're probably below us somewhere, maybe downtown? Alright, then we just need to find a way in. No... I want to learn a new resolve move. <laughs> ah, God, my nose is all black today. Uh, okay, this is the same. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is the same as last time. Alright. Wait, have I taken damage yet? I have. Let's go. I'm just going to hit the bed real quick. Just real quick. I know it's a little bit, but. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Okay, so there's a few things I need to do real quick. Uh 
before we start doing... Okay, can you go to Midtown real quick to talk to this green guy? I think it's this dude right here. Excuse me, are you Enzo? Mm, do I know you kids? Looks like you want an appointment. You need a schedule with my secretary. I'm on break, getting some air. My name's Chloe, sir. Chloe Coldstock. I understand you're very interested in buying Coldstock Cottage. You, I don't know what you're talking about. Why does everyone always say that? Come on, mister, don't waste our time. We know when my Uncle Cyrus let you into Coldstock Cottage to look around, and we know you stole the title deeds. Hand them over and we might just forget this report, this disgraceful theft. <clears throat> what? Look, there's no need to be hasty. I didn't steal the deeds, honest. Let's see if the police agree with you, shall we? Or better still, my pal, Yagi here can make you show you telling us all you know. I'm always down for a scuffle. Uh, uh, no, please. Oh, okay, I'll tell you what I know. I was interested in acquiring in Coldstock Cottage. That much is true. I had grand plans for turning into a winter resort. Skiing, hot tubs would have been magnificent. Your uncle promised that the sale could be arranged, but he didn't see him beginning anywhere, so I helped it along. By stealing the title deeds. Where's your honor? I, I did steal them. Uh, well, not exactly. I hired someone to give the deeds to Cyrus so that he could complete the sale. <clears throat> I've been waiting for a word from him so that conveyance could be proceed. He might be waiting a while. Uncle Cyrus says he doesn't have the deeds. He blames you for stealing them. What? Uh, uh, I don't have them. I, I thought Cyrus did. Well, when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however probable, must be the truth. I'm so lost right now. It means, if my deductions are correct, that if Enzo doesn't have the deeds and Uncle Cyrus doesn't, then there's only one plausible culprit left. Um. <laughs> uh. Oh, whoever Enzo tried to hire to steal the deeds? Exactly, as soon as you have double-crossed, Mr. Enzo. Double crossed, I should have expected it. Perhaps I, I I wish I'd never gotten involved now. So who did you hire to steal the deeds? My contact is none other than the Grey Fox. Are you serious? You dumbass. <laughs> the most infamous thief in the kingdom? But I thought he'd hung up his mask. I did not. I, I contacted me. He contacted me recently though and offered to help with my house buying predicament. Come to think of it, how did he know what I was planning? Hmm, the plot thickens, and I suppose you know where we could find the Grey Fox. Afraid not. I never met him in person. We only corresponded through typed messages. Here, you can have the last note I received. Maybe there's some clue within that'll help you find him. Great Fox's note. A note from the famous thief. There's like coffee stain on it. Hmm, coffee stain. Hmm, what do we have there? This looks like some kind of stain. Perhaps from a drink? I would guess coffee. In this case, the drawn symbol must be the mark of the Great Fox himself. Any ideas? Hmm, let's look for a place where coffee is served. We might bump into a suspect. Oh, and Mr. Endo, don't think you can weasel your way out of this so easily. You need to do something for me. Okay, coffee. And there's a couple stores down here, unless downtown has actually a coffee shop. That's the pastry place. That's probably not it either. Uh... I guess we can explore downtown. Let me go ahead and do some other things real quick. I need to deliver the failed uh, transcript thing to the guy in the frozen flats. Oh my god. Ugh. And I'm so stuffy this morning. I took some medicine for it, but it's still kind of bugging me. It's making it hard to do voice acting, I'll tell you that. This doesn't feel right to me, but we got you a failed quest transcript. Okay, good, good. You have fewer scruples than I do. Here's the thing I found on the back of the sofa. Oh, I got a car style. Monsters. Okay. Now go away, I have some reading to lock. Okay. Yeah, let's see what that is all about. Yeah, once I find the right page. There we go. What, what did it? Oh, oh, I see the style. Okay. Okay. Alright. Sweet. How many skill points does that give me? Uh, enough. I can actually max out Chloe as well. Bam. There we go. Uh... Um... 
blah, 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 blah. Sorry, just looking through her skills real quick. I think that's all I want, really. Yeah. Oh, I got sneeze. Uh-oh. No. Heh. Heh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Alright. I'm fine. I'm not dying whatsoever. Alright, so we did that. Um, I'm going to head over to... There was one thing... Other... What was the other thing I need to do? Oh, the old one. Right, I need to head to the forest real quick. So... <clears throat> Let's run as fast as we can back over there. Because I got all the old one keys, and I want to see what that does for me, so. I wonder if this quest I'm doing right now for the cold stock place is the thing that unlocks her final skill. And I think, I wonder if the Sasuke thing is the thing that unlocks the final skill for Yagi. I, I might be connecting some dots here. Let's go here. Yeah, that's probably the fastest way to get there. Ugh, this is such a tedious thing. Let me blow my nose when I'm doing this. It'd just be really gross. Ugh! God, I'm dying, guys. I'm sorry. It's these allergies. Alright. I wonder if this is a faster way to go. Now let me go let me go the normal way, because I think it doesn't really matter. I think it's like halfway through the stage anyway, so. I'll try to avoid fights if I can. Yeah, I think it's like the midpoint that's where the uh, the old one is, so. Ugh. I think it's this area, so. There it is. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. Mr. Old One, we found them all. You did? Oh, thank you, young ones. Please insert the keys to the altar. Yes. Yes! Freedom at last! Ooh. Thank you, young ones. You have done me a great service. And I promise my gift to you, take it and use it wisely. I got a fork. This fork certainly isn't for salad. If you listen closely, you may hear a subtle but perpetual ringing. A strangled cry from a distant land. And now I must hunt for food. Missing thousands of meals makes me one ravenous. Farewell. Phew. Pity, you look like a worthy opponent. That it, really? That means the weapon good? <laughs> Old one's fork. Okay. Holy crap, yeah, it does six damage. That is insane. It does way more than the freaking... It's actually kind of small, too. Yeah, might as well. It's only in the front, though, so... Yeah, let's put it here, I guess. She what's what's Can you just look over my options here? Um Yeah, let's replace the bomb, whatever. Alright. Could put something else instead. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh put the meteoric knife here. I can put the frost blade back. And then I can take the fish head out, because I don't really need that anymore. Uh, I would like the flame whip, but it takes a lot of space to use that, so... Uh, I'll just leave it in there for now. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Alright, anyway. Blip, blip, blip. Let's head back to... Ugh. I'm gonna walk all the way back to... God damn it. All right, I'll see you in a second. I'm just gonna try out this fork. Oh, okay, that was, that was kind of unimpressive. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, really.
Oh, that worked. Okay, and we're back. Um, we're back in the town here. I'll explore downtown. We're gonna try, we're try to avoid the sewers for now until I complete some quests. Uh, and here it is. It's all cleared up now. Wait. You two were here before. Well, where's all the snow gone? My snowshoes are hardly working. You might have to buy some regular shoes, my dear. Plain shoes, but what if it were too snow? Ooh, they're not thinking heavy scarves and warm feather hats will sell as well as, she, as, well as we thought. Hmm, perhaps we should tell people it's healthy to overheat sometimes. So for it, the village is so big, everything is so warm, like someone has left the fire burning for too long. Yeah, I'm wearing sweaty and a sun in the big hood. Where's the icy evening breeze when you need it? Alright, so downtown we are. Heroes, are you? You know, I'm something of a hero myself. Just call me the bystander. You don't look that impressed. The Saber's Guild? Psh, no, no, my work is out here in the real world. Real heroes are out walking the streets they've sworn to protect, not just sitting around waiting for the work to come their way. No, I don't have any quests as such. I'm doing my heroing as more of a freelance, provisional, investigative capacity. Okay. Hmm, I don't live death here, just in case you thought I did. So funny you could think you think I would live down here. I would never live somewhere in as low rent as downtown. I'm just visiting to help my sister out. She's the one who actually lives here. Really, I'm the kind soul who's doing your favor by staying with her and splitting the bills. Stay. <laughs> just because my res residing here doesn't mean I live here. I'm just temporarily taking a long-term vacation in the, the vicinity. <laughs> sure. Boy, I found a rat in my shoe this morning. Anyone want it? Someone scribbled at the bottom of the note, a man in a suit and a rat in a wedding dress? Man is... I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know. Is that a reference or something? They are here among us. The end is near. The planet is shaped like a donut. Geez, someone has spent too much time on shady forums recently. <laughs> no one pays attention to downtown. Town rules are scarcely enforced here, so it's a wash with rudeness. I simply can't abide in polite people. The world would be much better off without rude people, don't you agree? Me? You can say I provide a public service. Someone tries to rob me down a dark alley? Well, that well, really, that's one less criminal darkening our streets. Why are you so interested in little me, hmm? I'm just a washerwoman, washing the whole town clean. Oh, God. No one ever really noticed a nice lady hanging up some washing. Who's washing is it? <laughs> now that would be telling. Oh, jeez. Uh, she's like an assassin or something. That's kind of scary. Or vigilante, I'm not sure. Whoa. Oh, oh it's a rat. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Oh, it's safe. Uh, smoosh, smoosh. Almost max money. So I can buy that last card. There's not really a lot of things to interact with this in this particular part of town. A lot of things to smoosh, though. Oh, there's another section that hasn't been revealed yet? Goodness. Oh. <laughs> good day. I say good day. Okay. Oh, it's in the shop, okay. Here, little ones, welcome to Royal Town's very own high ice shop. Feel free to look around. Okay, so I need any of those things. Oh, Piper. I'm here cleaning up guild side quests. They always give downtown to heroes with low scores and leaderboards. It's it's meant to be kind of a hazy thing, the worst part of town for the worst heroes. What they don't know is I've lived downtown most of my life. Everyone's got to come from somewhere, right? I used to get guff about having turned jail and joined the hero side, but really people like to see a familiar face come running when they shout HELP! To tell the truth, I'm more comfortable out there than back at the guild. At least here people are honest about being dishonest. I wish there was more stuff to do with the heroes in this particular game. It feels like they're kind of like... They're mo they are mostly side characters that don't really contribute to anything, really. They're <laughs> just there. Oh, this must be the ocean shop that'll open eventually. Okay. Oh, that's a little battle card you're carrying. Can I see your deck? Solid starter deck, but you've been using it pretty hard, huh? Dirt, scratches, bent corners. You'll never be able to resell these. Oh, yeah, for attack centric gameplay, Axel's pretty great, but I prefer Mirror's banner myself. I got this genius play where you fluke Kamala early so you can nudge the bench right when your opponent's trying for an item and. Oops, sorry, I'm, t I, I, I'm told I talk too much. 
Uh, what? You want to battle me? No way, my card collection is priceless. There's no way I'd risk scratching them up. Come on, okay. Ah, it's a brute. Oh, this is already the way to the sewers. Oh no, what's this? Subway's still in construction. This level of disruption is n is no fair. I just stopped by to get a few dozen signatures from the Queen for a development project, and now I'm stuck. It could be weeks or even months before I get back to South Munch City. What am I supposed to do in this backwoods? No horse town until the rail is fixed? I hate small towns. Everyone is too friendly. It's impolite. What if my day isn't swell? Huh? Ever anyone ever think of that? Okay. Well, I clip right through these cones. This is good old badger work here. I love it down here. Dark and gloomy as any cave, and it goes on forever. Oh, wanna be digging. Digging all the day. Digging for the love and digging for the pay. A subway is a cave that really go that's really going places. You know, love beat. I only need a cup of hot mud to keep those eyes open. I've been working double sh sh <sighs> shifts. Repairing the subway all the way to South Munch is a real big challenge, you know? I've still got work back at the mines, so I've been working both. No sweat. I work here all day, the mines all nine, and then I sleep on the car on the way back. Look, I'll love with you. It's been a few days since I had a sh sh <sighs> shower. Don't you worry about me. I got it all in control. Techno stuff is too impatient. important to leave to ch ch chance. After all, one wrong move, one wrong calculation, the whole thing comes crumbling down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this coffee's pretty good, but the best in the kingdom is South Munch City. Well, I didn't know you could grow coffee beans in the city. That's amazing. Uh, we don't. Uh, so where does coffee beans come from? Uh, all over. Mostly the Holy Islands. So then the Holy Highlands also has the best coffee in the world? You don't get it, pal. There's so much more to coffee than the beans. You gotta grind them just right. Brew them perfectly. It's an art. Only a highly trained barista like me can get the best out of a cup of coffee. And that makes sense. Uh, only when you're here right now. So doesn't that mean Royal Town has the best coffee? I mean, well, yeah. I mean, no. You're really confusing, pal. You know that? On second thoughts, maybe this place could give Cafe Nostra a run for its money. Hello, Piper. Our basic kid's here. Are you on a quest or here for the copy? We're here to see you, actually, Mr. Piper, about an accident or incident involving Coldstar Cottage's title deeds. Sorry, kid, you lost me. Please don't play dumb with me, Mr. Piper. Or should I say, the Gray Fox? Shh. Keep it down, kid. You trying to get us all turned into questions? You're probably wondering how I discovered your real identity, aren't you? Well, at first I found the tuft of grey fur you left behind the crime scene. Still wet, I noticed the so only recently dyed grey. Then Enzo gave us your note with a coffee stain and the mark of the grey fox on it. That would told me you wrote it somewhere that sells coffee. No, the thing I can't understand is why you sold the title deeds. Blackmail, perhaps? Uh. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, sorry, it's just... That was great. I like you kids, so I'll let you in a little secret, okay? Sure, I was the Grey Fox, but no longer. I left that life behind to become a hero. With all the stuff about title deeds and coffee stains, I had no idea what you're talking about. But I found your tuft of fur died right out of the safe. Listen, kid, don't take this personally, but I went years the Grey Fox stopped being caught. Nobody could lay a finger on me. So do you really think I'd be so amateur as to leave a tuft of fur at the crime scene? Besides, I never dyed my fur gray. What a mess that would make. I, I just wore a gray mask and cowl. But, but, I was so sure I had it all figured out. Shut up, kid. You figured out something that few others did, right? You just got it wrong with the deeds thing. Why don't you tell me more about it? I suppose I could. Okay, so... Interesting. Listen, kid, I've been retired for a long while now, but I, even back then, I never worked for anyone. I never even heard of this Enzo guy. I'm afraid I'm not your thief. Sounds to me like you guys have been played. But if it wasn't you, Enzo Osiris, then who took the deeds? It must be someone who knew about the safe, the deeds, and the existence of the Grey Fox. They knew how to get in the safe, and they... <gasps> I've got it! Come on, everyone, back to Coldstock Cottage. I need to call in a family meeting. Thank you, Mr. G -G Piper. You'll seek a safe with us. Oh, interesting. Okay. Coffee? I can't jump in here. Alright. <clears throat>
I just got back from a jaunt from the Cackle Coast, rambling the beaches of our lagoon. How have you been? Oh, darling, you must be- you must. So fun. They have this marvelous thing called the ocean. This is simply an enormous puddle. I can't even tell you how big it is. Stupendous. I've never seen anything like it. Such a colorful place. The locals have such a funny way of speaking. They live in these huge ships, half buried right in the sand. So whimsical. You must go now, while it's still a hidden gym. Next year, the tourists will find the place and you'll be stuck queuing for all the best bits. I think I got some pictures of my trip here somewhere. Oh no, are you leaving? You must go now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Smoosh. <laughs> Alright. I need, a vac I need a vacation for my vacation. That was exhausting. When you should mention, I got a brochure for a new resort opening nearby. This place does look nice, but you have to promise me no wild adventures this time. There's a nice relaxing day at the beach, lazing on the sand. Uh, of course, honey. What possible adventures could we get into, into the beach? Oof. Unless you're smugglers, or sea monsters, or a bodacious surf contest, or... Oh, no. Sleeping in a patch of sun, listening to the waves? That's enough adventure for me. Alright. That's all of downtown, looks like. Pretty short stuff. Um... Alright, so we need to go back to Coldstock Cottage again. Now, let me just poke around down here and make sure there's nothing else. I don't want to run into the sewers on accident, but... Right here. There's an alien coming for us! The Razor has begun! He's right here! Are you blind? Can you not see? Short and green? He's right there! I, I, I am a typical human male. I have no thoughts of spacefaring or invasion. I am just like every human entity. Gaffa, gaffa. Oh, look, his bird is peeling off. Oh, I am simply shaving, as all male humans must do, a ritual of bloodletting. Come, fellow humans, let us say, shave, remove our natural hairs. Leave our bases naked and defenseless against any potential onslaught of mind-controlling rays. Did you hear that? He said it right there. Mind-control rays. Can't you see there's an alien here among us? Hello, new human. Do you also like to eat human foods and speak of insane, inane subjects? Indeed, indeed. The weather, it conspires, does it not? The orb of the sky that watches us? We shall speak not of the light that passes overhead at night. Do you enjoy money? I too enjoy money. Small trinkets of metal and paper. How we love to watch them dance. So very cultural. Tomorrow will it occur? Will it be today it was? Will it be as today was? Our primitive human minds cannot know. We cannot foresee time in multiple directions. How laughably underveiled we are. We have so much in common, all of us humans. <laughs> it really is just like an alien invader. Is this a this is a mound I don't know. It just looks like it. Oop, wrong person. Eh. Switch. Nope. All right. Okay. Before we head in the sewers, which will no doubt continue the game, uh, let's head back to Cold Sock Cottage. Turn in that thing with, uh, you know who, and then, uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Be back in a second. All right, and we're back. All right. Ooh, okay. What's all about this, Chloe? Will your game take long, dear? Your great-great-grandfather's waiting for his weekly game of charades. Uh, not long, Mom. I gathered all of you because I'm ready to reveal who took the title deeds. Why, it's everyone. Look, why... Hey, why is everyone looking at me? Because, Uncle Cyrus, you're guilty of conspiring to sell Cold Star Cottage. You were in cahoots with the businessman Enzo. You plan to steal the title deeds and sell the house without my dad's knowledge. Cyrus, uh, Cyrus, uh, <laughs> Cyrus, is this true? What, uh, but... It just makes good business sense to sell it to someone who has a vision for what it could become. But how did you get into my safe, Cyrus? I believe I can answer that. Uh... An inflatable crocodile and a toothpick? <laughs> I don't want to... What? What are you talking about? Uh, Chloe, are you sure that's right? I mean, I don't remember that. Uh, no, actually, Cyrus has been his pawn Enzo and hired someone to crack the safe. I don't know why I'm facing the wrong direction, by the way. <laughs> so are you suggesting someone else was involved? Who? This is where the plot thickens. We questioned Enzo. He told us that he'd hired someone to steal the deeds and give them to Cyrus to complete the sale. The thief was apparently none other than the Grey Fox. <gasps> Interesting. Oh. Oh, I've heard that of that fellow. And don't want to brag, but we found him. We found the Grey Fox. Uh, that's incredible. It's incredible, Chloe. Did you get the deeds? Sorry, Dad. We don't have them. Actually, he wasn't involved at all. Someone made it look like he was. Someone in this very room. 
So I asked myself, who knew about the Ds, had the safe combination, and was a fan of the Great Fox? And there was only one logical deduction. The person who took the title deed was... Everyone? Dub? Well, what a twist. I need to write this down. Nice try, Bloof, but it's in fact my own brother. What? What? My baby? Is, is this true, young man? Very yeah, good, sis. Knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Yeah, I mean, it's me. I took the entire title to the safe and put this whole mystery into motion. But why, son? Chloe, have you worked that out? Logically, you wanted to highlight Cyrus's nefarious plans in a way that make Dad really take note. <clears throat> exactly. You better did. I've been scheming away and unchecked for too long. But not just that. I want to test your detective skills and prove to anyone just how good you are. Mom, Dad, you've never really taken Chloe's detective skills seriously. She's so great at it, and you think, just think she's playing games. When she grows up, she'll be the best detective in the world. Uh, Charlie, I, uh, thanks. Don't mention it, sis. Oh, I have the deeds, Dad. Uh, don't worry, they're safely tucked away in my room. Ooh, that's a relief, and you're right about Chloe. Uh, we should have taken more notice of what you were up to. I'm so glad everything worked out in the end. I love a good happy ending. Oh, uh, there's still a small problem, though, although pains me to say it. What Cyrus said about the house is true. Business has been slow lately and coastal cottages cost so much to maintain. I'm afraid we might have to consider selling up. Well, not so fast, Dad. I'm able to help there too. In exchange for that not turning him over to the police, Enzo agreed to give you some business tips and help get your ventures back on track, Dad. Oh, excellent work, Chloe. For the first time in a while, the future of coastal cottage looks bright. Uh, well done, all of you. Having to move my studio would have been such a pain. Oh, your friend has learned a valuable lesson. It warms my heart. Come to the city of doors and cross the golden bridge. A blessing will be bestowed upon your friend. Oh, excellent work, Chloe. Okay. Alright, sweet. And before I leave Coldstock, I actually just want to check all the family members, because they might have quests to tie to them? But... Because he gave me the super ladle. Uh... What are, you say, what are you still here for? Go find those title deeds. Enzo surely took them. Oh. He's repeating the same shit. This vid didn't talk to him. <laughs> yeah, let me check on... Okay, so... Oh my god, I don't remember where shit is. Uh, I know... What's her name is in the very top. Uh, I think... Yeah, she's a, the, the grandma's over here. Oh, she does have a quest. Interesting. Okay. Cool, nearly as darling. I'm running to clean out a charcoal again. I must pop to the road time to get some more. Mother, I said we don't have the time to take you right now. I got to meet with the financial finesse board and. Oh, well, that's quite alright, darling. You meet with your friends and I have some fun. I'll take myself to town. Mother, you know the journey isn't safe. Wait a while, then I shall take you later. Nonsense. I've been walking to town all my life and I can't stop now just on account of a few ghosts and a little snow. Chloe, could you and your friends please take your grandmother to Royal Town? Oh, uh... Easily done. Let's sketch her legs. At least someone out here is thinking creatively. Let's walk... Let's chalk on the wild side. Well then, lead on my young de dilettantes. Uh, the muses call. So I don't know what that is. Alright. Alright, I guess I'm heading to Royal Town now. Still a little bit of time. I, I took some cuts in this episode, so I should have a little bit more time. <laughs> we'll get this We'll get this particular quest done, and then I think we'll end it there. I'm sorry about the... Oh, man, this... Uh, the quality of this episode doesn't feel very good to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like my stuff he knows. I can't read correctly, and... Eh, I need to stretch my legs after this or something. Get some air. Yeah. Oh, that's right, I can't take the teleporter when I'm escorting. Uh, alright. Uh, go, go. I can't- oh! Shit, come on!
Oh? Oh, okay. I thought that was a quest bubble for a second. It was not. I swear, if I keep doing these side quests, I think I'm going to break it again because I feel like I'm going to be doing some quests and I'll talk to somebody and then all of a sudden a new character will pop out of my party. I'm like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> it's, it's going to happen again. I know it. Oh. Rousey, that was, what was all the fuss about? Thank you for taking me this far, but I'll be quite all right from here. If you're sure, Grandma. Yes, yes, I've got a lot of shopping to do and young people ought to be off getting into proper mischief. Oh, and this might help you in your adventures. A Frosty Flats discount. Oh, thank you. My senior citizen discount card. Just tell them you're buying for me. No one will question it. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and end the episode there, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll, I'm going to take a walk around and get my head cleared up. I'm kind of muggy this morning for some reason. So I love you guys, and thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Goodbye. Goodbye.